catch us another, and then we'll weigh them. Hi guys, Buddy Gross here, Bassmaster Elite. I want to talk to you a little bit about my hair jig setup and how I throw it and kind of how I work it based on the conditions. I always throw it on a 7.3 heavy rod. Uh, I try to use a fast retrieve reel like a 7.3. I've not gone into the 8 yet. I'm still play, playing with that a little bit. But it's always going to be a faster retrieve reel. Uh, 15 to 17 pound line. And I'll tell you why the two here in just a second. But mostly the 17 pound test line because I throw this thing around a lot of if I can get on an edge that's got some eelgrass or even some hydrilla, you can really get a good snap of the rod with that 17 pound test and break it free of whatever's down there. But but this is an open water bait, ledge bait. It can be on rock, it can be on you know the hard grasses. It's kind of hard to throw it in millfoil or even coontail. It's really bogs down. So this bait right here, I try to keep in a clearer water or a harder grass type deal. And I like to get it at where I take it, throw it out, let it go to the bottom. I'll give it about three or four really good cranks and then I kind of snap my rod and the only reason I snap the rod it's a little bit awkward if you snap the rod it falls on a little bit of a slacker line it gives it more of a natural dying look uh, if I don't do the snap I give it one hard pump and then I kind of let the rod fall with it but you got to kind of let it fall on uh, on slack line or it, it kind of defeats the purpose uh, and then if I do a lighter version like a half ounce I'm trying to go after the suspended fish I go down to 15 pound test line and I do a lot of countdown stuff. One thing I'm really bad about is I count down everything. I can almost tell you the depths by the countdowns on every bait I use. So I'm a one Mississippi, two Mississippi guy. So if I'm fishing in 10 feet of water or, or even let's just say if I'm fishing 20 feet of water and the fish are suspended, I'll usually use like a seven to 10 count and I'll stay above the bottom and then I'll just burn it, stop it, burn it, stop it, never let it go to the bottom on those suspended fish. This is a bait that's very versatile, been around a very long time. And I just think we're just now tapping all the resources that it can do. Uh, I hope very soon to have one of these things out in Weedless, and I'm starting to play with it a lot in timber. You're going to see this play soon. I hope it's this year.